Welcome back to Clegg's Adventures. Today we're going to do something very interesting. If you can recall, last year in the video where we found arrowheads with a stick, we made that little tangent trip down the river to that fire pit. And when we were digging around in that fire pit, in the coals and the ashes that were still there, we ended up pulling out this grinding stone. I have found a fire pit that's still in the hillside. A part of it right here. Wow, that thing is rubbed. I'm gonna take this rock. It was in three pieces, but I was able to put it back together and glue it all up. And you can see how it's just rubbed flat on one side. It would have been held like this probably and maybe used for grinding corn or nuts. We don't know. When you find an arrowhead, you can kind of tell the date of it by looking in a book, what type it is, what shape it is, because everyone else has done the research. But some of these stone tools, you don't have a clue how old they are. Hammer stones, you know, things like that, hematite pieces, you have no idea how old they are. And even the dates on these arrowheads, if you read different books, they vary within, you know, couple thousand years even. But we're gonna find out just how old this grinding stone is. Not by a book. We're just gonna head down to the river and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Find the age of this grinding stone. And I wanna say thanks to uh, Tim Cooper. I had this idea a long time ago but I never really looked into it till you sparked the interest again. Thanks Tim. Let's head on down to the river. I'll show you what we're doing. Wow, this place has really grown up. I hope we can find it. It's right down this way. Oh. When we get down here, I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna find out the exact age of that grinding stain. This is gonna be cool. No more mysteries. Try and get down over this bank and I'll kill myself. Weeds everywhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hope we can find that fire pit. It's right over here, been the hillside. And it's been since the last time, you know, over a year since I've been here. Okay, I've located the fire pit again. After that flooding in the winter, kind of covered it up, so I had to scratch around. I'm gonna clear some of this brush out and then I'll show you what we're doing. Get it. I'm having a hard time getting this tree out of here. This pawpaw tree fell right down in front of it. But uh, yeah, see? Pawpaw, I've never eaten one. I don't think that's right, but I ain't gonna try it now. Okay, I got it all cleared out. And there's some more stones coming out in here. Look at this. Right here's the fire pit line. Here's a stone right here coming out. And you can tell they're all fired red. They've been in this fire. Look over here. I hope we find another tool. This is coming right out of the fire pit here. Look at this one. I don't know. We might take that one. Let's check these other ones. It's regular hard stones. Regular hard stone. A lot of fired stones coming out of here. We must have got lucky when we pulled that... Uh, grinding stain out of here first what we're going to do is we're going to try to get a good sample of this charcoal from this fire pit and we're going to send it off to be carbon dated we're going to find out for sure when these people lived here and we're cooking right here okay we're getting a nice charcoal layer here i actually see what looks to be some wood fibers that were burnt now i called this lab and this guy assured me that he could probably get this plus or minus 30 years 
Now, I don't know how accurate it is, but he said he could do it. I've heard 50 or 60 years, but this guy, he says he can do it within plus or minus 30 years. But he said also that the smaller sample that you can get of wood, the better, because some of these trees live 500 years. And if you're getting a piece from the middle of the tree, it might show older. We wanna know exactly what this is. But the way I figure it, these guys, they didn't chop down no huge trees for firewood with no stone axes. They didn't have no chainsaws or anything like that. They probably just gathered up what was around small and manageable on the ground. Okay, we got our sample here. We got a good bit of it. He said he didn't need that much, so many milligrams I forget, but that's a good bit right there, more than enough. So the original surface was down here. That was before the river dams. Now the water's way up, as you can see. Water probably used to be way down in the middle. I mean, like, wow, they would have been just living just right in this area. Probably a little wigwam there. Fire pit might have been inside the wigwam. And we are right below the earthworks at Ben's Run. Arguably the largest ancient city in the United States. Maybe this grinding stone is older than the earthworks. The earthworks was probably around 500 BC to maybe 500 AD, around the year zero. But we're gonna find out if this family lived on the river before or after the earthworks was built. And like I say, this guy says he can get it within 30 years. I don't know if that's plus or minus 15 or if he was saying plus or minus 30. But he guaranteed me he could get it in that time frame, which I don't know. Maybe he's just a good scientist, I'd say. Maybe he went to a good school and he's a good scientist. Anyway, let's get this stuff to the lab. I got mail this in. He said it would take a couple weeks or more. We'll see. Okay, the results are in. Now I could have had this video out a couple days ago, but there was a little mix up. I've been standing by that mailbox out there for four days waiting on a package. So I call the guy and he says, uh, well, you should have got it Monday. We sent it Monday. Well, I was like, well, how can you get here one day? He said, we email it to you. Well, I haven't checked my email in like four days. I guess I should start doing that more often. The more I study this stone, the more I'm getting from it. You can see all this, like this sharp edge right here. This is a, like a 90 degree sharp edge on there. Now the cortex is all on the side and it's worn off right here in a very, very defined line because of that sharp edge. Now when they were rubbing it on this side, it's got a rounded edge here. So the cortex is here, but it slowly grinds off to nothing. Like it was uh, in something soft, like corn was squishing up around there. This thing has been used for a long time. The scratch marks on this side are kind of at an angle like this. So they had to have been holding it with their hand over like that and rubbing it like this. That is very cool. Okay, let's get to the results. I'm gonna get my glasses on. Now, before I read this, I just want you to know that Clegg's Adventures had to spend all of his YouTube money to get this done. It was pretty expensive, so if I could get a little thumbs up down on this video, much appreciated. Robert Givens, Eco Time Labs. Dear Mr. Clegg, we have I'm not gonna read all this to you. And I don't understand all this scientific stuff. There's a lot of chemistry involved here, it looks like. I kind of got a grasp of how it works. You know, the carbon-14 depletion, half-life 5,700 years around there. So they can kind of get a ratio. The date of this grinding stone is, drum roll please, 
865 years old. Now, I don't know how accurate that is. Like I say, the guy said that he could hit it within 30 years, plus or minus 15 or 30. I forgot to ask him. But that is just amazing that we know in the year 1157, somebody was grinding with this stone. And I'm going to say it was probably corn. You know, corn didn't come along until later on, maybe in the Mississippian times. I don't know if they had it in woodland period or not. If we ever find any other uh, tools that come out of that fire pit over the time, we'll know exactly how old they are. So that's kind of a reference date. Now, I don't know if we could use that whole uh, level below the surface here. I don't see why you could not anything that's found at that level if you find it in the bank. Well, thanks for joining us on this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Something a little different. I never saw anybody do this before. We'll catch you on the next one.